welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video for you guys. I've been seeing a lot of these types of videos, um, basically kind of when I was trying to figure out how I want to organize all of my makeup and everything. I thought it would be awesome to do a decluttering makeup series or makeup declutter series. I'm not exactly sure what I want to call it yet, but I thought it would be an awesome kind of a video series to do. I really like these videos. I actually truly enjoy watching these types of videos. So this is going to be my first makeup decluttering video part one and we are going to be decluttering foundations, concealers, face powders, and also primers. So anything that has to do with the face, I think it'll be a really awesome way to kind of look through my collection as well as let you look through my collection. Makeup does expire and no matter what anybody tells you, it does get nasty and I don't want that in my makeup collection. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys have done a decluttering video or anything that I would love to check it out and see what you have in your collection or um, if you guys are going to declutter with me that would be awesome. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. I'm super pumped. I don't know about you but I'm so pumped. So um, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is actually face primers and this is actually the most face primers that I've had in such a long time. Right off the bat I see these e.l.f. ones right here and I'm not sure if I really want to keep these. This one for sure is really really old so we're actually going to like trash this. I think I'm actually going to toss these. Or, um, My Jouer primer, this is the anti-blemish matte primer. I love 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 this primer so I'm definitely not going to get rid of this one. The Benefit Stay Flawless primer. I have never been a fan of this so I'm definitely going to toss this out. Um, Of course I'm keeping my Benefit Professionals. Love my Benefit Professionals. I just got a new one because these ones are almost out. Makeup Forever for sure keeping these because these are my two favorite and I've been using them like crazy. Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is just a sample size but one of my favorite primers so I'm definitely definitely going to keep this. Um, Let's see. Too Faced Hangover X. Um, This is basically empty so I think I can give that a toss. Max Strobe Cream keeping for sure. Cover FX Mattifying Primer. This one's nearly empty. I barely, like I don't even think there's literally nothing left in here so I'm gonna give that one a toss. Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. I don't think I really care for it so I'm actually gonna give that a toss as well. Um, NYX Angel Vel, keeping this because I actually really enjoy using this. It's very similar to the Hourglass Primer um, but such a cheap version so I'm keeping that. That Gal Face Brightening Primer. I don't know if I actually truly like this primer. Yeah, I'm actually going to give this a toss because I'm not a fan of it. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I actually really like this primer. It is a sample size, so I'm actually going to keep this. So these are all of the primers that I'm keeping. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine primers that I'm keeping, which is actually kind of a lot, but they're stuff that I use all the time. Now these are the primers that I'm actually choosing to toss. Got rid of eight, kept nine, not too bad. So, all right, so moving on to our next products. Um, these are all concealers that I have open. So the two that I already want to get rid of are actually my MAC Pro Longwears, and that is only because these are very, very old. The NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Love this concealer so much. I think I'm gonna have to toss it because it is almost out. NYX HD Concealer love this concealer for highlighting I'm not gonna get rid of it I'm gonna keep it because it is kind of a newer product two Maybelline fit me concealers one in 20 and one in 25 um, I'm gonna get rid of the 20 because this one's nearly empty I'm gonna keep the 25 because I just got it and it's kind of newer so I can use this for carving out brows or whatever but Maybelline instant age rewinds I do like these I have two colors I I have one in light pale and one in neutralizer. I'm going to keep the neutralizer because I really like that color. It's more of a yellow brightening color. 
but I'm not going to keep this one because it is an older and it's way too pink for my skin tone. I have Benefits Fake Up. Ah, this one is a tough one. I do like this concealer, but I don't use it a lot and I don't think it covers too well. I'm actually going to put this in the Toss Pile because it is a little bit older. MAC Prep and Prime. This is in the color, what is this in? Radiant Rose. Not a huge fan of pinky toned kind of highlighter deals. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to give this a toss because I'm not a fan. Hard Candy Glamouflage. I mean, I don't like to use it too bad underneath my eyes, but I do love it for priming eyes, carving out my brows, all that stuff. So I am gonna keep this one. Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Porcelain. First of all, this is not my color. Um, a friend actually gave this to me. It was brand new and she never used it. Definitely not my color. I could probably put it in my kit but I have already dug out of it, so I'm actually going to kind of give this a toss. Benefit Boing Concealer. This one is in the shade 2. Once again, a friend gave it to me. Almost out. I used it a lot. I really liked it, but I'm going to toss it because it is a little bit dry now. Sonia Kashik. I actually have two. So Sonia Kashik. Uh, pot concealers. These are the all covered up concealers. The first one is in the color sand and the second one is in the color porcelain. Um, I love both of them a lot so I'm actually going to keep them because I love the Sonia Kashuk concealers. I have a NYX concealer in the color beige. I'm actually not a fan of this concealer. I think it is too dry so I'm going to give that a toss. Sonia Kashuk concealer palette Love it. Use it all the time. As you can see, it's just a hot mess. I get my use out of it, so I'm going to keep this. This is the, what is this? Boleto Studio Quad. I'm actually not a fan of it. I have used it quite a bit. Not a fan of it, so I'm actually going to give that a toss. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight concealers I am keeping. These are all of the concealers that I am tossing away because I just have no use for them. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, moving on to face powders. So these are face powders, setting powders, loose powders, all that stuff. So the first one I'm going to look at is this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I'm going to throw this out because it is just a little too sparkly for me. My next one I'm looking at is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Um, I'm going to give this one a toss. This is in medium dark. I actually don't use this at all. Next one is this Milani Powder Foundation in the shade uh, Fresco. This one I actually do use. Uh, it's just a little too pink for me and a little too light. I think I'm going to keep this one just because I like Milani products. Uh, L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade W4. I like the texture of it, but it's just a little too light for me. So I'm actually going to, um, I'm not going to toss this one. I'm going to put it in my kit. And the next one I have is this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I don't use it a lot on myself, but I will use it in my kit. Since it is a loose powder, I can put it in my kit. Um, Makeup Forever HD uh, Powder Foundation. Love it. Keeping it for sure. Keeping this. NYX Studio Photogenic. Ugh, I don't use this a lot. There's not much left in it either. I used to use it all the time, but there's just not much left. So I think I'm actually going to toss this one out. These are the NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It, and this one is in medium, and this one is in light. Um, I'm actually going to toss the medium because it's way too dark, too pink for me, and I'm going to keep the light because it is um, a little bit more yellow toned and perfect for me, so I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to toss this Milani Face Powder in the shade Light Tan because... Um, it's way too dark for me, and once I put it on, I turn instantly orange. And I'm going to keep my It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores powder because it's my favorite powder. I use it literally every single day, so I am going to keep this one. All right, so these are the ones that I am keeping. Um, these ones are kit purpose, so I have four for myself. These are the ones I'm tossing. I actually don't have a lot of powder, so um, I'm tossing five. All right, you guys are going to flip your lid. Look at all these foundations that I have. I'm actually going to begin with these tube foundations right here. These are all tube-isk foundations, so we're going to go through them and... 
hopefully get rid of a lot of them. The first two that I actually see that I definitely am going to get rid of are the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundations. They're just too dark for me, period. Too pink, and I just, I don't really care for them. They're just too dark for my skin tone, so I'm going to toss these out. The Maybelline Pure BB Cream, tossing this, too pink for me. The Jordana Complete Cover Maximum Coverage. I wish I liked it. The color is very yellow, but I just don't like the formula. Two of the e.l.f. BB Creams, these are in the shades Light Beige and Nude. Not a fan. Too pink for me. I love the tube idea, but I just... I can't do it. The L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I actually really used to love this. And um, ugh, look at how gross that is. I am actually going to toss this because it's way too old. I have two of the Egg Cosmetics CC Creams. Love this stuff. Looks really good on the skin. I'm definitely keeping these. We have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundations. 104 is way too light on me and too pink, so I'm going to toss that one out. And I have 105, which is right up my alley. I really like this foundation, so I'm actually going to keep this one. I have the Tarte BB Cream, which used to be my favorite BB Cream. But look at how dark it is. It is not going to match me. I'm going to have to give this a toss. All right, NYX Tinted Moisturizer, my favorite moisturizers ever. I think I use the nude more than I do the three, so I'm going to toss the three and keep the two nudes. Okay, here we go. So, first ones I see are the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundations. I can't wear these ones. One is too dark, one is too light, too pink for me. So, I'm going to have to give these ones a toss. Benefit to Hello Flawless Foundation. I love this foundation so much, except it's so dark on me now. I actually think I'm going to keep it, though, because I do get really tan in the summer, and I've, this is not old. So I think I'm actually going to keep it. Hard Candy, just face it. Awful foundation. Completely awful. I'm tossing this one for sure. Um, let's see. The True Blend by CoverGirl. I do like this foundation. I think I'm going to keep this one because I do like it. It's a great drugstore foundation, so I'm going to keep this one. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi, too dark for me. Never really used it because it was too dark, so I'm going to have to give this one a toss. Let's see. The Revlon Nearly Naked, too, too, too dark. I don't know why all these foundations are so dark on me, so I'm going to have to give that one a toss as well. This is the oldest foundation I own. Got to give this one a toss. It looks so nasty. Let's see, the Matte and Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. I like this one, but it's a little too light for me, but I am going to keep it just in case the one up is a little bit too pink. I can even it out with this one, so I'm going to keep this. Um, Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, too dark for me, but I'm going to keep it because I like this foundation a lot. Okay, Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade 123. This is my shade in the regular um, HD foundation, keeping this for sure. This is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. It oxidizes a lot, so I'm, I'm going to work with it, um, but not sure yet. So I'm going to keep this though. MAC. Moisture foundation. Love, love, love this foundation so much, but I cannot use it. It is too, too pink, too dark for me, too orange, so I'm going to have to give this one a toss. Um, let's see, the Maybelline Fit Me, regular Fit Me in 210. I'm going to keep this because I do like the Maybelline Fit Me foundations, uh, but it's a little bit too light, but I am going to keep it. The Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. Favorite, favorite foundation. Too dark for me, though, so I'm gonna have to give this one up, unfortunately. Um, let's see. The Maybelline Better Skin. Yes, keeping this for sure. I use it all the time, so I'm gonna keep that. These are the Laneige BB Creams. Um, this one's in dark, which is obviously not my color. Um, this one is in medium, which is not my color as well. I don't know why these are in here. These are actually supposed to be in my kit. Um, the NYX Mineral Stick Foundations. I like these only for highlighting and contouring, not as a foundation. Like I said, keeping them for highlight and contouring purposes. Same with these two. These are the Pure Cosmetics um, Cameo Contours. Keeping them, I love them, my favorite, but not for foundations. Uh, obviously, they're for highlighting and contouring. Are my go-to foundations, which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Loving it, keeping it. Then, of course, my NYX 
and my NYX, my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I can't get rid of that. All right, so these are all the foundations I'm keeping. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten. Plus squeezy tubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm keeping 20. So these are the ones I'm tossing. So I am tossing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I got rid of half of my stash, kept half of my stash, which is honestly a really good thing because I had way too much. Yeah, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these kind of makeup decluttering videos. I just, I mean, I wanted to try something different, so let me know what you guys think about them, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a brow kind of video. It's not a tutorial, but yet it's not like a official review. I want to start doing kind of like high-end versus low-end videos where I compare like a high-end product and then a drugstore product. I think that this series or types of videos will, you know, really help some people when deciding